Kim Owens. Thanks for watching my video today. I'm located in San Marcos, Texas, near Eye of the Dog Art Center. I make Willstone porcelain pottery that I like to call fancy porcelain pottery. It's fancy because I apply lots and lots and lots of slip dot decoration that gives it a wonderful tactile feel to them. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make one of my oil bottles. Here is one that is my Black Mandala oil bottle. A bottle form is considered more of an advanced throwing form. However, if you've been throwing for a while, I encourage you to try to do one. Hopefully after you watch this demo, you'll have the confidence to make this particular form. If you'd also like to follow me and watch more videos of mine, especially on how I do a lot of my uh, t type of slip decoration, you can follow me on my Instagram page at KO Pottery or on Facebook at Kim Owens, and that's Kim with a Y. Again, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy the demo. All right, everybody, let's get started throwing one of these oil bottles. I want to mention real quick that I throw standing up. As you can see, the splash pan is around my waist height. I put my wheel on top of three cinder blocks, one for each leg of the wheel, and it really just helps save my lower back if I'm going to be throwing all day. It takes some practice getting used to throwing on the wheel, but it's well worth trying out if you haven't done it. So I'm just centering the clay. I'm opening the bottom. It's going to be a flat bottom, and I'm not opening very wide because the bottom of the oil bottle is not that wide. So make sure you don't open too far out. Um, so right now I'm just gonna center what I like to call this, I call, it looks like a big donut of clay and I just recenter that as I am start pulling on my first pull. So make sure your clay is really nice and centered before you do that first pull. Going in now for my second pull I really want to try to get as much clay from the bottom up to the top and it is flaring out just a little bit but I'm going to correct that and just choke that clay back in to where it angles inwards. Clay has a memory so our ultimate goal is to have a nice narrow neck for that bottle top so go ahead and establish that by your second pull. It did stretch out a little bit as I'm doing this third pull, but it's okay. I'm gonna just keep reminding that clay to angle in. Make sure you have plenty of water on the inside and the outside. I'm sopping up the water right now. Yes, I have small hands. If you can't do this, get one of those sponge on a stick or put a sponge on a stick, but make sure there's not a whole bunch of water just sitting in the bottom of that oil bottle. All right, I just grabbed my metal rib. I'm gonna focus on the bottom to the mid portion of the oil bottle. I'm pushing outwards with my inside hand to meet that rib on the outside. I'm doing this now because I will be closing the top part of the oil bottle and I won't be able to get my hand back down in there. One last try of getting as much water as I can from the bottom. I'm just applying some water on the outside, making sure my hands are nice and wet and the clay is wet. So now I'm just choking in or collaring in the top part of this cylinder shape. I bend most of my fingers, but I use my index finger and my thumb to also just squeeze that neck in. I'm applying a little bit of water on the inside with my fingers and then the outside, I'm just again pulling that clay up Every time you collar the neck, you want to do a pull afterwards. If not, oh, and this is really important, what I just did was re-center and re-compress that top. Collaring in some more, compress that top to make sure it's level, go back down in, and pull. So the trick is collaring in the top, compress the top, and then pull. Do those in the same sequence um, so you make sure that that top of the oil bottle isn't all wonky and you can just work your way slowly in. 
So now I'm going to really clean up this curve right there with another metal rib that has a slight curve to it. But one thing I wanna emphasize right here, I'm going to get my straight metal rib and just round out that shoulder. I don't want it to be a sharp angle. If it becomes a sharp angle, your top is going to collapse. Applying more water on the outside and coloring in again. Now, this is in, in a little compression as well. I'm going to just do a little bit more shaping. I'm not pulling anymore because I have reached my limit on how much clay I can pull now, but I am going to just reshape and try to get my fit with my little stopper. So a little cork top with my needle tool and that is my measurement that my oil bottle top will fit in, allowing for that shrinkage. And now I'm using my metal straight rib to angle that bottom in. I'm just pushing from the outside in, yep. So as I'm doing this, you can see that the bottle starts kind of getting a little wonky because I have no pressure on the inside. It's okay. It, the entire form is actually really centered. It's just because I'm pushing that bottom in, it's gonna go a little wonky. But once I stop the wheel, you'll notice that there's no wonkiness and no unevenness at the top. So clean your hands really well. I get my wet sponge and just clean everything. I'm going to now dip my hands in water, mark my spot where my thumb indentions are gonna go in. Wet hands is the key here. A little bit of water, roll around, make a little indention. I'll later come back after this bottle dries up a little bit and re-emphasize with a wet finger, making that little indention more pronounced. Because as the clay dries, it wants to push back out. Okay, now I have dry hands, clean hands. I'm gonna get my wire. I'm gonna cut the bottom. Make sure to keep that wire straight and then gently cut my hands and just lift it off the wheel. I have a rack with a board that I just put all of my oil bottles onto, as you can see. This is a little bit more challenging as well to just lift your pot off the wheel. You can by far just go ahead and leave it on a bat. Those little square bats are really great. Thanks for watching.